Hi guys, welcome back to Lucas 3D Studio. Today, let's find out how much energy does an A1 Mini printer consume to print models from start to finish. So you'll have a rough idea how much will it cost you in electricity to print your model with this printer here. So let's get right into it. So to measure energy consumption during this test, I'll be using this smart plug from Tapo with energy monitoring function. You can find the exact model in the link below. Keep in mind that I have the European version of this plug, so mine might look different than yours. Also, I used my A1 Mini 3D printer for these tests, but if you have other type of printers with a similar power rating, this video might be interesting to you as well. So I'm going to break down these tests into several categories and do some comparisons, so make sure to watch this video until the end. In this test, I measured the energy consumption of the printer when it is idle for 3 hours and here are the results. If the printer is not connected to the AMS light, the average energy consumption is 4 watt hour every hour. If it is connected to the AMS light, the average energy consumption is 6 watt hour every hour. So, if you leave your printer idle for a day, assuming that you're paying 40 cents per kilowatt hour, at least that's what I'm paying where I live, you're gonna pay about 4 cents if it's not connected to the AMS light, and about 6 cents if it is connected to the AMS light. Now, I don't know how much you pay for the electricity where you at, but for the sake of continuity, I'll be using 40 cents per kilowatt hour as the base price for my calculations. Before the printer starts to print, it will do a series of actions. It will download the file you sent to it, unzip it, purge the leftover filaments, calibrate for vibration, level the bed, calibrate the flow, and print the nozzle lines. In most cases, it will take somewhere around 5 to 7 minutes for the printer to finish these actions. In this 5 to 7 minutes alone, the printer consumes 12 to 14 watt hours, where the power can peak up to 140 watts, especially when it does a vibration calibration and hit the nozzle to purge for the leftover filament. So it is safe to assume that the energy consumption for the first hour of printing is always going to be higher than the energy consumption for the second hour, the third hour, and so on. So if we consider only this 5-7 minutes time frame, it will cost me somewhere around 5 to 6 cents. Although I have to mention that the power supply voltage where I live is 230 volts, so if your power supply voltage is let's say 120 volts, your printer might need longer to heat up, which means that it will take longer for your printer to perform these actions, so your energy consumption for the first hour might look a little bit different than mine. Before we get to our next test, let's talk about today's sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay offers a wide variety of services, not only PCB prototype services, but they also do CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding services, and even 3D printing services. So you can get them to print any model in all kinds of plastic materials like a resin, ABS, to metal like aluminum, stainless steel, and even titanium. Just upload your model to PCBWay, choose your material, specify the quantity, and hit submit request to get your quote. Visit PCBWay.com for more information. So to find out the average energy consumption per hour using PLA with the 0.4mm nozzle, I printed this Grogu model on both textured and smooth PEI plate using the standard Bamboo Lab PLA basic setting. As I previously mentioned, the printer took 5 to 7 minutes to prep, it consumed 90 watt hours in the first hour in both cases, and then averaged to 75 watt hours in the next hour. In the next test, I changed the stock 0.4mm nozzle with a 0.2mm nozzle to print the same model. What's interesting is, the printer took 12 minutes to prep before it started to print. In these 12 minutes, it consumed 21 watt hours. In the first hour, it consumed 80 watt hours, then averaged to 75 watt hours every next hour. Now let's look at the average power consumption to print the same model with PETG or PETG or however you call it. Using the general PETG setting, it took 9 to 10 minutes for the printer to prep and the printer consumed 22 watt hours while at it. In the first hour, it consumed 96 watt hours, then averaged to 87 watt hours every next hour. 
The higher energy consumption can be linked to higher temperature requirements for printing PETG. Now here comes the fun part. I connected the AMS light to the printer and printed the model in multicolor. It took the printer 10 minutes to prep, consuming 16 watt hours while at it. Both the printer and the AMS light consumed 89 watt hours in the first hour, then averaged to 76 watt hours every next hour. So if you've been paying attention, taking this test into consideration, if you exclude the first hour, there are no significant differences in energy consumption to print PLA either in single or multicolor. This is also true for single colored prints with PLA using the 0.2mm nozzle. So to get a rough idea how much does a print cost me in electricity, especially when I print with PLA using the 0.4mm nozzle, which is 99% of the time, I made a simple formula. That said, if you want to know how much does a print really cost, taking other costs into consideration, there are a lot of ways to calculate it and you can factor in many things like material costs, depreciation of your printer, labor costs and whatnot, but let's not make this complicated and consider only the cost of the filaments and the electricity. So these are the costs for each of my cityscape and terrain prints of my previous video and some other prints if the cost of the filaments is $20 per 1kg spool. So I hope this video is helpful to you guys out there and if you have other types of 3D printers, let me know how much energy they consume in average in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't and I'll see you guys in the next one.